This is an arthroscopic picture of the rotator cuff. Uh, you can see the cuff and the giant tear. That should, tear should not be there. It should be hooked to the bone, which we're going to do later on in this surgery. That is the cuff itself. My best analogy for this is it's, it's like blankets on your bed that are pulled down to your feet. You want to grab them off your feet and tuck them in, under your chin. So I'm reducing the rotator cuff, seeing how it's supposed to and we lightly abrade the bone to try to get good bleeding bone. And we're going to put anchors medially. So these anchors are like drywall screws. They go in and we use this to attach the sutures to the bone. And then we pass the sutures around the rotator cuff and pull it back down to where it's supposed to be. So this is the anchor going in. My camera is lateral and I'm basically looking towards the midline. So we're sitting on the shoulder, looking medially towards the, the neck. So that's one of the suture anchors going in. This is the other suture anchor going in. So we're going to pass those sutures through the rotator cuff. And this is a little passing device that basically shuttles a stitch through the rotator cuff. So we're finding the correct spot. We're going to pull the trigger, and that's going to deliver a passing stitch through the rotator cuff. So the first one misfired, but the second time I passed it and then pulled it back out. Now that first stitch we use as a shuttling stitch to pull all of the sutures that were in that anchor through the rotator cuff, but only having to pass a needle one time through the cuff. So now we're shuttling all the remaining sutures through the rotator cuff. Now, once that passes, and we do that on both anchors, we grab a limb from each of the anchors that have already passed through the cuff. and we pull them over the top. And we're going to use another anchor further over. And what this does is puts the suture on top of the rotator cuff, and we can tighten it almost like a zip tie. And what that does is push the rotator cuff onto that bleeding bed of bone that we created where the rotator cuff is supposed to attach to. So that was one anchor. This is the second anchor. And you can see the suture laying on top of the rotator cuff, again, pushing it down to the bone where we're trying to get it to heal. So we've got good compression of the cuff to the bone. There are multiple different ways to fix rotator cuffs. This is just one of the common ways that we do it. This is another one of the anchors going in. And this is looking at the rotator cuff after the sutures are on top. Uh, we link the two medial sutures together to get a little bit more compression, cut the edges, and here's our final repair with the rotator cuff attached to the bone.